Alec Alfonso Wheatle, born on the 3rd of January 1963. Alec, an illegitimate child, was received into care. His mother deserted him at birth. Nasty little boy! Action! Steve was always committed to um, telling the story of a young black guy who's been institutionalised. So basically, I had to tell about my experiences in care and uh, my time in Brixton. Yes, man. <laughs> and uh, how I got to be a writer and also the brief spell that I had in prison. And Steve was like, oh my God, oh my God, we have to do that. I had no one teach me jack shit in my life. A mum or dad, brother or sister, no one my whole life. I had nobody. Alex Wheatle was brought up until he was 15 at the Shirley Oaks Children's Home, and then he was sent to live in a hostel in Brixton. This was the first time in his life he'd encountered uh, West Indian culture. He was black, but he was brought up in his children's home and taught nothing about his background or his culture. So being dropped into Brixton was a big eye-opener for him. You is African? I'm not. I might be black, but I'm from Surrey. There's a big amount of pressure to tell his story properly and you want to do it justice, you want the world to see this story. That's it. How do you feel? Comfortable? All right, blow man. What? What did you say? Yeah, did we turn? But I haven't turned my laces Oi, yet! Okay, Dennis's storyline is quite interesting because he's just the joker of the story, really. He's just a good guy and he just makes everybody just feel good around him. So his story is just really about making Alex feel comfortable showing him the way of, you know, surviving in Brixton. Nah, you have to strut as a black man strut. Any dread can spot you from a mile. Yo, Brixton on fire! There's a scene that we shot, it's about the Brixton riots. There was a lot of anger in the air back in the, in the 1970s, especially during the Brixton riots. When you're in it, you forget the cameraman's there, you forget the same action, you are just going for it. I was watching the monitor and it all brought it back right home for me. The fear, the pounding heart, Steve caught that energy. Don't be sheep because he goes there, that means you have to go there. That anger, that rage. <laughs> During the Brixton uprising, he was arrested for looting and sent to prison. Facing a prison sentence at the age of 18 was the first time he'd had to come to terms with himself. And he found himself sharing a prison cell with a middle-aged Rastafarian guy who took it upon himself to educate this young boy. There's plenty of tribulations and ways for dealing with them thing. And the education me can give you, that is your key. My character, Simeon. Alex stumbles across him in prison. Simeon has a love of reading. Education, Alex! Therefore, passes that knowledge on to the youth, being Alex, and um, helps him get his life back on track, I would say. Start by reading. That will turn your life around. Steve McQueen brings a focus, a vision, a real drive, and a passion, because he knows that these stories deserve to be told. He knows that these stories carry weight. Steve McQueen is in a league of his own. Always oh, stuck in a cell for the entire duration of it. He literally gave you the freedom to just, you know, incorporate whatever you wanted to do and use that space. If you don't know your past, then you won't know your future. Steve is making our narratives important to the fabric of the society. So I really want people to view this thinking my story is just as important as Alex's or anybody else's out there. So that's what we're doing with this series.